Hello Weekend Crafter! Welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and today I made a slab from scrap clay. Before I proceed, if you haven't yet, I hope that you can like and subscribe to the Craft Time Studio for your weekend dose of crafts. Because I use a glass mat, I always clean my work area first by spritzing it with some alcohol and wiping it down. Now let's find ourselves some scrap clay. I normally don't have a lot of scrap clay, but I do accumulate some when I clean my pasta machine. I usually get clay stuck on the sides of the rollers as well as the bottom of my pasta machine. I scrape these off using my detail needle and a tissue blade. I wanted to make a slab using print as inspiration and I turned to Papillon Patterns. Do check out her IG for some beautiful prints. I see four distinct colors here, a dark green color, an olive green color, a yellow green color, and some white. These are also the colors that I will try to recreate using my scrap clay. I pass my scrap clay through my pasta machine and this is how it looks like now that all the colors have combined. We have this light gray hue that we can lighten further with a little bit of white. Next, I'm going to get out my dark olive green color that came from my collection of dark scrap clay. I added some emerald green to this just to make it lean towards a greener color. Now we have a color that is closer to the dark green color that we need for the slab. Going back to my light gray hue, I mixed a little bit of my olive green color to get this light green shade. And then I amplified my colors with a little bit of yellow. Then for my final color for the slab, I am using white. For the main slab, I rolled out the dark green clay into the number 4 setting. Then I rolled out the rest of the colors into the number 7 setting. I actually decided that I would add another slightly lighter shade of olive green. I used a leaf cutter and punched a few leaves. Then, I made a couple of very thin snakes to act as stems.
I attach a leaf to each of these stems. Next, I take my detail needle and add the veins to each leaf. Now it's time to make the cotton plant. I get my white clay and use a grape cutter. I just focus on the bottom part and punched a couple of these shapes for the cotton. I also punched a few circles that I also cut in half to be the bottom of the cotton plant. I placed the half circles at the end of each stem. Then I placed the cotton flower on top of each half circle. Next, I use my detail needle to put some grooves.
I made some thin snakes again using the yellow clay. Then, I punched some 6 petal flowers. I cut these flowers up to make the petals into small leaves. Each of these leaves are placed individually on each side of the stem. I also cut out a few sun shapes on the light grey clay and cut these in half. These will go to the top of the light green leaves. Of course, I go back to all these leaves and flowers with a detail needle. And for the final layer, I punched some friend-shaped leaves. This time, I used a tissue blade to put all the details on the leaves.
I then got my tissue blade and neatened the edges of my slab. If we go back to the print, you will see that there are colored dots scattered across the slab. For this, I rolled some light yellow-green clay and covered it with some dark green clay, essentially making a very simple cane. Then, these are cut very thinly and placed randomly across the slab. This is how the final slab is looking like. I made them into tiles that I will use for a home decor project. I'll be sharing a link of my other tile tutorial in case you want to see what this project is. I also made some earrings from the remaining slab. And that is it for this weekend's tutorial. I hope this inspires you to think of new things to make with your scrap clay. Have a crafty weekend. Bye!